reaches. Exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest. Pull the heel up towards the glute. Shift your weight forward, plant the foot. All 10 toes facing the front of the house. Inhale, rise up. We're in crescent lunge. We're finding some space here to widen our gait and get into the deep musculature of the back leg, the psoas. Breathe in, exhale, dial down the back heel, warrior two. So we went from a closed hip to an open hip. Now we're in Virabhadrasana two, warrior two, arms reach out, take up space here, look forward in between your front middle finger. Externally rotate through the front leg, equal amount of weight in both feet. Every inhale you can lengthen, every exhale you can see if you can sink down just a little bit more. Beautiful, inhale, flip your front palm, straight arm, straight legs, reverse triangle. So we'll go through a triangle series. There will be three triangles coming up. This is your first one, reverse triangle. Kind of the same form and function of a reverse warrior. Breathe in, exhale, arm straighten, triangle pose, trikonasana. Some people might have to walk the back foot up, keep it 30 to 45 degrees, somewhere in there. And you feel like you're being squeezed in between two panes of glass. So we're tucking the pelvis and kind of hinging at the hip point. You'll reach compression here pretty quickly. Use a block. Look up. This is triangle pose. Equal amount of weight in both feet. Notice energy lines here. So your wrists are in one line and we, we do energy lines in yoga because they're the strongest. So the straightest are the strongest. That's If that's all you cue, that's great. Straight line of energy is the strongest. Beautiful, and you can look down for neutral spine or at me, either way. All right, on your next inhale, back to that reverse, almost like a reset, like this is a little reprieve, right? On your exhale, tee out your arms, we're pivoting towards the front of the house again. This time our hip is closed, revolve triangle. Most people will have to walk the back foot up to get here. And you can use like a TP hand, fingertips down, or you can flatten the palm to the inside or outside of the foot. It's easier to do it on the inside of the foot. Again, look for those energy lines. Breathe in, axial extension, straighten your spine, exhale, twist. This is a detox pose. We cue detox. That word detox make people want to just, it makes you feel better, right? Because you feel like the, the function of the pose is actually working in the body. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, twist your chest, your torso up to the sky. Look up. Beautiful. Let's take both hands down. You might wanna pick up that other block here. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So this is pyramid, nose to knee or chin to shin. And your hips are still closed. So sometimes that right hip will jut out, pull the right hip point back, fold. Beautiful. Inhale, look up. Runner stretch. So runner stretch is pretty simple. You don't really have to break it down too much. For safety, just make sure that the knee's behind the toes. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze the scapula together. And we can breathe here just for a minute. Beautiful. Plant your hands. Send the right foot back, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Moving through those three triangles. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse again. Exhale, revolve. Inhale, prep, straight spine. Exhale, fold, pyramid. And you might have to walk the back foot up. Just be, be that gentle reminder there. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, close the flow, down dog. So just one more time on the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, pull through. Crescent. Warrior two. Inhale, triangle in reverse. Exhale, triangle, traditional. Inhale, back to reverse. Exhale, revolve. Both hands down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Beautiful. Inhale up. This is your runner's lunge. And you can really be big here with the chest. It could also be a heart opener as it is a hip. Exhale, step it all the way back. All right, so last time, breathe in. Just with breath, breathe out. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, revolve your triangle. Inhale, lengthen for pyramid pose. Might need to scoot it up. Exhale, knee to nose or chin to shin. And that function is of the spine. So if you, you know, if you notice people with a lot of rounding, you can cue them to take their chin to the shin and it won't touch, but that function will keep the spine straight. All right. Inhale into runner's lunge. You can be on fingertips or you can plant. And then exhale down dog. Beautiful. So here's some things that you'll, you, I hope you see in class because this is a flow that, um, if you've been coming for a while and if you're a yogi, you'll take some of those triangles into um, another variation. So breathe in, exhale, step it through. Crescent lunge, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, triangle. Exhale, triangle. From this, I bet you see people moving right into half moon. All right? Inhale, reverse. Exhale, revolve. From this, I hope you see people moving into revolved half moon. Okay, so just notice what to look for. Um, and I think this, is, this one's gonna be good. It's really energizing, but it's powerful. Um, it's simple, but it's not complicated, but it feels good to the body. And it is that like that flow that we're looking for, right? That, that just that feels good. So anyways, let me know what you think, and I'll be there so, uh, Sunday to check it out. Bye.